Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am at a Kubota dealership today. Uh, this is a dealership that I bought my tractor from. This is Olson Power and Equipment, and uh, they're in North Branch, Minnesota. Just an excellent dealership. Had to come here today to get new flat face couplers. So uh, that was a warranty deal. The uh, flat face couplers on the back of my BX23S would not go together. So now I've got a new set, so now I can use my backhoe again. Um, yeah, I don't know why. But anyway, uh, I figured as long as I'm here, we'll do a little tour because they got all kinds of fun little things that you guys might want to see. So <laughs> stick around and uh, see what we find. So the first thing that caught my eye is this uh, this three-point three mounted tiller uh, made by Land Pride. It's a very great company that uh, Kubota deals with. And... The one thing I noticed is that there's only four tines. Um, you know, some other tillers have six. So, I don't know, it's probably a great tiller, but it does only have four tines on it. I don't know if you can get a conversion to uh, flip that over or not, but it is what it is. Over here they got a nice chipper. That looks pretty well built. Also made by Land Pride. A rear discharge finish mower. It's like a 54 inch easy over mower deck. Another 54 inch deck, not a drive over, which is what I prefer. And uh, what do we got? We got some 60 inches over here. I want to point out something on the mower decks for you guys because a lot of you think that a 54 inch deck is just fine well check out this pivot point here you see these springs right here on the, here and here on the 60 inch deck it has this pivot point that helps the mower articulate well over uneven ground okay so the 60 inch has that pivot point if we go over here and we look at the 54 inch it does not have any type of pivot point so you might think that having uneven ground you might want a smaller mower deck to help you uh, get over some of that stuff or a narrower mower deck um, however the 60 inch is probably your better option because of that uh, ability for it to pivot okay um, just something to think about got some really nice landscape rakes here or sometimes known as a york rake or a tine rake, or whatever kind of rake you might want to call it. I sure could use one of those. Anybody here need a loader? They've got a few of them in stock. Holy man alive, there's a lot of loaders. Just about any tractor that you buy, get yourself a loader. Look at this giant six foot brush hog. Just ginormous, right? Wow, I got a few of those too. Got an employee having some fun over there on a Mini X, making sure everything fits in the garbage. <laughs> of course, we're in Minnesota, so we got to have snow plows. Uh, a lot of different options. A couple snow pushers. Looks like some good stuff. They're just waiting, waiting for the right season. Yeah, well built. I like these plows with the uh, rubber, uh, goodness, I don't know, spill guard maybe you would call that. Uh, they seem to work really well. I've got that on my artillion plow and that's really nice to contain the snow. Sneaking around over here, we got a nice disc. I don't think my BX would handle that one very well, but uh, a larger tractor would. Back again through the mower decks. And buckets galore, holy buckets. There are a lot of buckets. We're right next to the freeway. Oh, Jake breaking. So, plenty of buckets here to see. Quick attach. If you don't have one, you better get one. I don't know why anybody wouldn't get one. And then they have a bunch of skid steer stuff too, because, well, Kubota also makes those. 
Here we got some L series. We got a 3560. Another one. Another one. And we got a 6060 and another 6060. Let's sit inside this cab and take a little peek here. Ah, it smells like a brand new tractor. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, this is this is nice and comfy. Oh man, this is a lot like uh, my 3940. A few more bells and whistles, probably. I like where the uh, loader control is right here. Very, very convenient, and the uh, three-point lift is easy to grab. Over here seems kind of empty, but that's probably good since this is the side of the tractor you get on and off. Got a high, medium, low, and four-wheel drive. A few different buttons. Of course, we got the regen light. Got to have those now, apparently. And we do have the, uh, the treadle pedal, I guess you would call it, but I, I really like this thing. Some people aren't a fan of it, but it's so nice just to hit, hit that forward and if you want to do both if you're doing a lot of loader work back and forth to go I think it's better than a two pedal system myself but two each their own a nice uh, air conditioning heating spot for your radio you got some light switches for uh, I'm guessing those are your rear lights all of the windows seem to open side ones, the rear one. I suppose we'll test them out as long as we're here. Oh, it's even got a nice little handle. I like that. That's cool. Oh, look at how wide that opens too. Wow, that would let a lot of air in until you hit a tree and then break the window, but very nice. Back here. There we go. I thought that would open a little higher than that, but I guess not. So, very nice. Large cup holder. Some empty slots for some rear remotes. Your PTO engagement. Your uh, throttle. That's nice to have right there. And the thing about these uh, L-Series Kubotas, they have an amazing transmission. They have what's called auto throttle. And they have stall guard, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's really a sophisticated transmission for a compact tractor. Um, when you're comparing tractors to different brands, look at the transmission between Kubota and a lot of the other tractors because I think Kubota probably has the best transmission in this series tractor than any of the competitors. But I'm not too familiar with the rest of the competitors. But I'm pretty sure the transmission has a few uh, options that others don't. So look into that. Definitely look into that. Uh, it's probably a pretty good selling point that you don't think of because you can't really see it. It's one of those things you gotta drive to actually uh, appreciate. Hey there guys, I am sitting in Kubota's new tractor. This is the M6141 and it is a beast. It is just huge. This cab is ginormous. I can, you know, I can pretty much <laughs> put my wingspan out here and just touch the windows. Uh, it is just big. It's got some, what first thing I noticed when I sat down, it's got all these vents. So I know you're definitely going to be comfortable in this thing. Lots of crazy controls. Don't ask me what they're all for. I don't know. Um, it does have uh, an opening on the top, and a lot of people think this is just for looks and fun and comfort, but this is actually because if you had a loader on this tractor and you lift something up so high and you can no longer see it here, well, now you can see it through the top. So that's what that's for, just in case you didn't know, because at one point it was something I didn't know. All right, we're going to get down from here. It's a long ways down. Whew. Holy man. But yeah, it is a, just a beautiful machine. Lots of horsepower. Um, I think this tractor is 
mint uh, hay. Uh, pull a hay wagon or pull a baler and pull a cutter. And it's got plenty of power. It's got some remotes on the back to do all the work. That is a pretty beefy rear end. Wow. All right, let's keep looking. Just across from that, we have a 3901, a 3901. A th <laughs> There's a lot of 3901s here. Uh, they're not all 3901s. Here's a 3301. We get a little further this way. Yeah, another 3301. Looks like they sold one. Used to be there. We've got a few more. Wow. They've got a few tractors here. It's incredible. There, the 2501. This is the smallest of the L series. This is a pretty popular tractor with some people um, because it's not that much bigger than a B series, but it has really good loader capacity, loader statistics on it, so it's able to lift quite a bit. Um, yeah, and it's and it doesn't have the regen system, right? So the DPF system looks pretty nice doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles as you can see it's just got the uh, metal floorboards and pretty standard stuff it does have that mid-range which is good not a lot of tractors in this uh, size have that mid-range and I just love that mid-range on my 3940 so uh, I think it's a must you might not like that guys but I think it's great I think it's better than the two-pedal system of other competitors, which will remain nameless. So we'll keep looking at what they have here. Here is the ever-popular 2650 with the cab, and they've got a few of these. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Wow. So, let's check it out. Um, the B2650. This used to be Kubota's smallest tractor you could get with a factory cab. Okay, now they have the LX series, and I don't see any on this lot yet, but we're going to keep looking. Uh, but this is a really nice, nice cab. Uh, lots of, lots of glass, so your, your view is definitely not obstructed much at all. Look at these narrow pillars. You can, that's that's really not bothersome one bit got all the features of even the bigger tractors just in a smaller capacity got air conditioning and heat a spot for your radio plenty of vents up above very nice mid-range again all the b-series tractors in the Kubota line have the mid-range um, I wish they had them in the BX range but you know you can't have everything I guess Well, let's keep looking, see what we find. Of course, they come with a quick attach. Skid steer quick attach. Here's a couple 2650s without a cab. I forget that they make the 2650 without a cab because most people that get a 2650, they want the cab. So you don't see many 2650s without a cab, but here's a couple of them right there. Maybe you guys own one, I don't know. Uh, fuel filter is easy to get at. Very nice machine. Very nice machine, for sure. We'll keep walking around and see what else we find. Well, now there's a familiar looking tractor. The BX23S. I know somebody that has one of those. And uh, this is what they look like without a cab on them. <laughs> I haven't sat in a sat on one without a cab for quite some time. I think this is a different seat. Huh. I think it is. I feel like I'm sitting up higher in this tractor. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. This is a different seat. I don't know if it's more comfortable, but of course it's brand new, so it's not broke in, but uh, I kind of like it. Hmm.
Maybe I'm wrong. I, I can't remember, but it just feels different when I sat in it. So, the 2380, if you don't need a backhoe and you want a BX, this is your machine for you. Uh, this has got the front snowblower. Um, yeah, this is a good machine. You can still get the uh, Curtis cab on the 2380 as well. So if you want a cab like I have, you can get the 2380. Still have it. Still be warm in the winter time because <laughs> if I was blowing snow on this machine without a cab, I can tell you firsthand experience, it is not that fun. So yeah, they got a lot of 2380s here. Normally they have their spring sales event, but not this year. So it's still kind of nice to get out here and see what they have. Got all the zero turns. I think I'd like to have one of those. Wish I could get one. Well, let's go keep on peeking, see what else they have. Some more BX series over here. Quite a few of them. 2680. This one's got a little bigger motor in it. Um, so yeah, the 2680 is very similar to the 2380, except I think it has 2.7 more horsepower. Maybe it's 2.3. I'm not sure. But anyways. A um, little bigger engine, still no regen system on it, so, oh, and the cap will fit too, forgot to mention that. <laughs> Anybody need a mini manure spreader? <laughs> That's something alright. And pink even. <laughs> Might have been red at one point, but it's pretty pink now. There's a little bigger one. I don't know if I'm going to get many more years out of this one. They also will have Can Ams here. Uh, they got some really, really fast ones and some really, really big ones. One. I bet that thing's not cheap. <laughs> I bet none of these are cheap. I can't justify buying a Can Am. Those of you that have them probably experience why they're so fun, but I'd rather just have a Jeep that I can drive on the road. It's almost just as small, but yeah, these might be a little more fun to drive. It is not very utilitarian, so I don't quite get it. Now I could see myself buying another four-wheeler. 
So I kind of missed the one I had. I had a 600 Polaris Sportsman for a long time. I used to plow snow with it, in fact. Um, but, you know, it was kind of kind of fun to have out at the land, bombing around on the trails and even doing some bird hunting. Bird hunting, I mean rough grouse is what we have in Minnesota. And they're delicious. <laughs> All right, um, we will be back here. We'll be back here again uh, next week, I think, because I'm actually getting a new um, loader hydraulic coupling because mine started to leak. Apparently, that's a pretty common problem. Um, somebody asked me the other day what size land plane they should get on their tractor, and they had a BX, and I suggested you could probably get by with a five footer. I see this one here is a four footer. And it's on a B series. Pretty sure that B series wouldn't have a problem pulling a five or a six footer, but uh, anyway, I don't know. Uh, like I said, we'll be back here again sometime. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless.